Hidden Object Guru here with a guide for how to complete all of the work orders in a single shift on a hard, uh, wait for it, there we go, a hard mackerel. Air pressure level Thank heavens one of the uh, objectives is in collect glass. Anyway, uh, do 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 first thing you want to do is grab all of the electricals you can out of here. Right. And then grab the furniture. We're going to need five pieces of storage. That's the furniture objective complete. Alright, there is a little bit of junk down there, as you can see. So be careful when tossing stuff down so you don't bounce it off to the side. And let's grab one more thing. All right, now we have four electricals or three electricals? Three electricals. There should be another computer around here, shouldn't there? Oh, there it is. I just wasn't paying attention. All right, so now I'm going to show you the safest possible way to pop open the cargo ship. Delete that. It will not explosively decompress, so don't worry about it. Okay, that's one and two. Now we can pop this bad boy. Don't worry about it for now. If we pick it up later, we pick it up later, but it's not important. Okay. Now we're going to cut the floor and the ceiling. Obviously try not to destroy any of... Oh, I missed. Oh, that's so embarrassing. Uh, Alright. Try... Obviously try not to destroy any of your cargo pods. Because we still need a couple of those to get our objective. Two, and is there another one? There isn't, huh. Usually there's more cargo on cargo ships. Again. Uh, be careful shooting this. You don't want to hit the walls to the left or right because there is a fuel line in there that will blow up the ship if you're not careful. Uh, it's a little easier when you're hitting the ceiling, obviously. I am just awkward today. But as long as you're doing this quickly, you should be fine. Alright, just kick all these out of their way. You can always pick... Oh, there's the last cargo pod. Okay, I'm just going to skip past all of these panels and done. Yeah, so if you're farming... Uh, is this one? No, okay. Yeah, if you uh, cut this loose from the ship, it doesn't have power anymore. Not that it matters. Alright, four and... That's number five. Nice. Uh, yeah, so if you need to farm objectives for any of your levels, this is the fastest way to do it, because you can get all ten work orders done in a single shift, whereas that's not really possible when you're uh, working on a gecko. Obviously, geckos are better if you want to... Careful. Geckos are way better if you want cash. But we're not looking about cash today. So destroy this aluminum panel. Nice. Gotta wait for that flashover. Oh, um, yeah, as a rule, try to keep your uh, cutter temp in a place where you can see it. Because if you put it too close to the aluminum panel, you won't be able to see whether you're about to overheat. And that is an easy to, way to get yourself killed. Also, smashing this thing into walls. Pretty easy way to get yourself killed. I didn't, but I could have. Uh, ah, fuel. Alright. Perfect. Okay. And that's your fuel goal done. Release the thruster, because the thruster counts as a mechanical item. So that's going to help your mechanicals goal. And cut, get ready to cut off the back of the ship. Alright, so, this is the fun part. One. These are the two of the only three points you have to cut uh, on one side. Alright, let's get this. Yeah, because some people will tell you, well, you got to delete the whole fuel line. That takes for GD ever. So, here's a weird glitch. This, counts, this switch counts as a mechanical, but... 
rather strangely, the kick doesn't work on it. The kick just turns off, so you actually have to waste a tether getting that one down there. But you get your mechanical. Yeah, it's a glitch where the kick just, for some reason I don't understand, doesn't work on the uh, fuel flush fuel flush switch. Okay. But you always need an extra mechanical, so go get it. And that's two. There's a weird glitch in the game where sometimes door panels don't count. I don't know what it is, or what causes it. That's cut that, that. And good. Good. Alright, uh, alright, that's all disconnected, that's all disconnected. Now we're going to go pull the nacelles and the thruster to make sure we get enough uh, of our mechanical objectives. Alright, that's one and two. We can get this panel out of the way while we're here. Alright, let's go pull the, rea uh, the thruster. I don't think the rea the cap... Yeah, it goes into the processor, so it doesn't count as a mechanical. Alright. I'll just yank Dollar this thing out. Three, and we should get four and then five mechanicals. Which means we only have to do two door switches successfully uh, to be out of here. Oh, uh, and once you've got this clear... What you want to do is, there's a lot of nanocarbon there, but you don't want to screw up the, where the rest of your ship is. So just pull it up. So here's why you don't have to destroy the, uh, why you don't have to destroy all the piping. Turn on your light. Uh, be careful not to laser the power cell, obviously, or the coolant. Okay. And wait for it. Okay, that was closer than I wanted. And as you can see, the entire right side of the ship has been disconnected. So literally all you have to do is slap a couple of tethers onto it. And the entire right side of the ship will be freely pulled away. And you get all that nano, all that sweet nanocarbon. Sadly, uh, you can't do the same on the side of the ship that has the, uh, um, the door on it. So you are going to have to, uh, careful, uh, you are going to have to worry about that later. All right, uh, these towers here, uh, the radio tower, whatever it's called, antenna array, uh, that counts as an electrical, I believe. Yep, counts. So now we just need one more electrical to get that, uh, to complete that objective. Well, oh, I missed a bunch of stuff. Careful. Probably shouldn't have pulled this. It's yeah, that was bad. Oh, that hurt a lot. Oh. Oof. Oh yeah, don't don't pull that panel from that close. That one's on me. As you can see, I didn't get hurt badly, but it's still jarring, and that can set off explosives. So yeah, just don't do it. All right. One, and uh, just for good measure, destroy this. Now you should be able to pull these two panels without any trouble. Okay. Yep, there they go. Yeah, so you just have to basically, all you have to do is avoid the one that has the door in it, and you should be fine. Wow, they're going in a strange direction. As long as they don't pull you into the uh, processor, you're fine. Nice. Uh, ah, yes, it's still intact. Good. Alright. Uh, this is embarrassing. Kind of stuck. If you wind up stuck like this, you can always just delete these pieces. Alright, perfect. Way to go, uh, fuel line. All right, I'm gonna sever that so it doesn't get him, so it doesn't start pulling the whole ship to the side. Done and done. Let's go finish off our coolant objective. Get it somewhere nice and safe where it's not going to run into anything. 
And what's left to do? We got five minutes left in this shift. Knock out that work order before they turn the lights out on you. We Whoops. Come on. Whoa, that was embarrassing. Hi there. What is happening? Now I can't even see the panel anymore. Oh, there it is. Alright, good. Here, airlock console. I think airlock consoles are more valuable than door consoles, although I'm not sure why. Alright. As you can see, this place is clean and safe now. So you're free to harvest this whole thing for the uh, nano carbon in it. All you have to do is... One, two, three, and four. Start feeding that nano carbon right into the side. As you can see, I'm running out of oxygen. I will have to refill that in a minute. Uh, again, this is not an issue you would have if you're playing this on open shift mode. But if you're playing it on open shift mode, you don't need this guide at all because you're fine. Okay, what's happening there? What's happening there? Oh, it got stuck. That's embarrassing. This can happen because it's, uh, if you don't get it to go in forwards, it can get stuck here, but it's not an actual problem. As you can see, once you just uh, cut it into a couple of pieces, it will just get automatically sucked in. Now your job is to get the uh, metal f under frame of the ship in before you run out of... Uh... Did I forget to destroy a piece? I forgot to destroy a piece. That's embarrassing. Alright, let's go get some more air, shall we? What did I do wrong here? Yeah, I'm gonna worry about this later. Let's go get the oxygen. If you've already been injured, uh, you lose two health per second once you run out of oxygen. So if you've already been injured, that can uh, lead to disastrous consequences. Oxygen level stabilizing. I was running low on those, in case that wasn't clear. Uh, so now our only job, as you can see, since we put both sides of the ship and the cockpit into the uh, recycler, sorry, the processor, literally all we need to do... There we go. All that's left for us to do is throw the uh, substructure in. I find this goes easier if you cut it into two pieces. Uh, but that's just me. If you want to try and throw the whole thing in there, you're free to. Uh, but, like I said, it goes way faster if you cut it into two pieces. And plus, you can send one one way, one the other way, and uh, speed things along nicely. Salvage secured. Account Thank you. Credit applied. Uh, anything else for me to just uh, cash out on while I wait? That's one metal going in there, one metal going in there. Come on, you can do it. Reactor plate, nice. I wonder if reactor plate's worth a decent amount of money. I always forget to check. Okay, and there's your metal objective. So we're done. Let me see if there's a... Uh, I want to see if there's some glass floating around, because it's always fun to grab the glass and toss it in. Because glass is, of course, a lot more valuable than aluminum. Wow, I... Forgot to switch over to uh, my laser so I could grab that. Pretty embarrassing. But as you can see, in a single shift... And in a single shift, if you're not worried about cash, you can get all of the work orders. Yep, 10 work orders in 15 minutes. It's the fastest way to uh, complete your certifications in the entire game. Anyway, if you're having trouble uh, getting quick certification upgrades, I hope this video helped. I've been the Hidden Object Guru, and I'll be back with more videos about my favorite game of 2018, except for Deadly Premonition 2, Hard Space Shipbreaker. I'll see you back here for that. But until then, I'm going to say that's right. Au revoir.